Hi guys, Rob 46 here. Welcome yourselves back to MotoGP 21 on the PS5. We've got two races to go. Sepang and Valencia. We already know that unfortunately the race at Sepang, which is five laps, is going to be raining, which I'm really not looking forward to. Um, everything else is dry, so what I need to do is qualify well and then hope that we don't crash in the race or get taken out or burn up our tyres, which is probably what's going to happen, but yeah, let's go to Sepang. Obviously, we've already wrapped up the, the title, so it doesn't really matter. But I would like to try and get the Constructors title. But Ducati are making that very, very difficult at the moment. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, straight through to Q2. The times were very, very close, though. And, uh, yeah, I am down there in ninth place. And uh, all three reps of Hondas are through. Marquez had to go through Q1, as did Alicia Spargaro. But all three reps of Hondas in Q2. And yeah, I will say I am struggling a little bit for pace, but we'll see what we can do for qualifying. Right, here we go then. What can we do? Sarko's already put a decent time in, so that's what we're aiming for. It's going to be difficult to beat. The Honda not feeling great around here. Three temps under at the first split. That's all right. See what the next split says. Four temps under. Oh, spinning up a little bit there. Oh, still under by nearly a second. Okay, what's it going to be? So 58 4 to be. 57-3. That was much quicker than I went in free practice. Don't know what was going on there then. We're on pole position by 1.1 seconds. I really don't know what was going on with my pace in FP3. Yeah, it was a little bit warmer. Um, but yeah, I was in the 58s in FP3, but we managed to stick in a 57 in qualifying. The only person in the 57s as well. Now we've got a battle because it's going to be raining in the race, so... Let's see how that goes. Right. Rain time. No point in going for soft tyres. They won't last. Okay. Let's see how much we struggle. Especially with rear grip. Okay. Sarko's got me. Oh. He just pushed me wide. I've got the inside for turn two though. Rear tight already overheating. This is going to be a very difficult race to try and win. Sarko going very wide there. Looking for the bus stop. The 
the rear tyre is quite warm already. It's getting quite hot. It's already overheated on the first lap. That doesn't bode well for the rest of the race. That was perfect through there. Oh, hello. Ah! Miller actually helped me then because I was about to go off track. That's annoying, I was trying to cut back underneath. Sarko's going to have the inside. Not quite able to get him. Taking some very weird lines on entrance to corners. Like going on the complete wrong side of the track. Everyone's pretty wide through there. They're like weaving from right to left. Oh, bit of a moment there for Zarko. Oh, all the Ducatis are coming through now. Hello, Ducati. How many bikes would you like in the top three? Yes. can't compete with Banyaya and Zarko, especially in that final sector. Yeah, coming out the penultimate corner, I'm losing loads of time. Oh no. Here we go. Rear's overheated on the right-hand side. Having to try and make up my time on the brakes, which is not what you you want to be doing in the wet. More chance of crashing. Sarko's catching back up to Bangaya. Not Bangaya, Miller. Sorry, it's Miller who leads. See, we close in through this section. Those raindrops on the screen are so annoying sometimes. See, we catch him here. Oh. Oh, here goes Zarko. Is he going for it? I've gone wide. Zarko's going for the lead. He hasn't got it. 
and we close here. I just can't get the bike stopped in time and turned without oh, potentially losing the front, which is what I just did. So I can actually help us there. It's all bunching back up. Oh no, don't you dare do that. Sarko, where are you? Okay. Oh, nearly got taken out there by Jorge Martin. What a mad race this is turning out to be. Sarko stopping. Not very well. We've regained the lead. It's only going to be short-lived, though. Especially through here. Oh, my rear tyre through here is... very bad. Alright, if I stay tight, they seem to go wide through here in the wet. Okay, through the double right. This is a corner I'm quite nervous about because it's easy to... It's easy to lose the front in the drive through there, let alone in the wet. Twitchy, twitchy. That was better through there. Oh. Again, it just pushes on a bit too much on the front through there. Here come the Ducatis again. I can't put the front brake on any more through there, otherwise we're going down. Got one lap to go. This is it. Where's Zarko? Not in the lead. This is where he isn't. I thought he was going to try and shove up the inside into turn one, a bit like he'd done on the previous lap. Stop spinning, please. Power map in three really does not help you in the rain. You put it down, traction control just kicks in even more. So you end up losing time. Ooh! Well, yeah, you deserve to go very wide for that hit. Jeez. I know I hit him earlier, so maybe a bit of payback from Zarko there. Oh, no, we're down. Oh, dear. And I've caused a big crash. Oh, dear. <laughs> that went very badly. We're not going to score any points this time. I just clipped the, the curb on the outside and that was it. That was all she wrote. And I've ruined the Ducati's chance as well. Ugh. Do you mind? Miller's not in the points. Oh, 
I'm not in the points. Zarko, I don't think, is in the points. That might have been Jorge Martin, actually. I don't know why I'm celebrating. No, Zarko finished in 8th place, so... Paul Spargo 5th, though. <laughs> that went sideways very, very quickly. Wow. Wow. Zarko closes in a little bit, but obviously... He can't catch me. Uh, well, Monster Energy Yamaha have moved up to second place in the team championship, which is a disaster for Ducati, but Constructors, 12 points. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Right, let's look at the replay. This angle won't show up very well, but I literally kissed the curb. Rear comes round. That's it. And then you got Miller, Zarco, and Jorge Martin, who all crash into my bike. Quattro somehow stays on. And then what happens here? So, oh, Bangaya crashes there into my bike. And Jorge Martin crashes into a uh, respawning Bangaya. Then I hit his bike. So, from a different angle. Literally just kissed it. Front was going, rear came round. And that's it. That's all she wrote. So for the guys behind. So Miller. I think my bike just doesn't quite yet. Yeah. Sometimes bikes take a little bit longer than they should just uh, respawn, but because mine was still moving. Miller, very unlucky there. What about Fabio, though? Because I want to see what happened to him, because that got very, very sketchy for him. So obviously these three Ducatis, all straight into my Honda. Quattro did... How the hell did he not crash? He almost comes to a virtual stop there. That's mad. <laughs> okay. Well, no part ferme, no points or anything for us. Okay. Oh. Okay. Alright. One race left to go. And obviously it is Valencia. That's where we finish all our seasons to. Seven laps. It's dry, which is good. But again, tyres don't last um, very well around here either. Let's go to the final race. Okay, quickest overall around uh, Valencia. Um, wait, I got no teammates in the top 12. Oh dear, no more reps or Hondas through to QT. That's a disaster. Look at all them Ducatis. Is, is, is. Right, let's qualify. Okay. I'm putting a medium rear now. The soft did not last. Battling with Bangaya there. He's just crashed. Currently second, but I don't think that will stay. Okay, not great. This is where the soft rear started to uh, completely burn up. Okay, 
And y'all, this has gone quicker. That was bad. Okay, we're starting down in 8th place. Just couldn't put a decent lap together. So, uh, yeah, we're way down. Right, here we go then. Final race of the season. We'll go medium front, medium rear. Let's do it. Need a good start. Here we go. Oh, bit of a collision there with Vinales. Now he's in the way. That's annoying. Can we stay with these two or are they going to escape? Vinales looking behind him. I think Vinales is one of the riders on hard front, hard rear as Quattararo's just crashed. Vinales may hold us up a little bit here on this opening lap. Banya is getting away. Can we catch back up? Three quarters of a second is the gap. He's still getting away. Thought I was going wide there, but didn't Morbidelli and Mir have just crashed? Kind of in no man's land at the moment. Way too wide there. Still 0.7, 0.8. Way too hot, M. Oh, 
Jorge Martin is closing in. These pesky Ducatis have been annoying all season, right down to this final race. He's gone, has Banyaya. And so is my rear tyre on the left hand side. As he starts to drop like a, a brick, I don't think it's going to uh, be possible to catch him. That rear on the left hand side is just destroyed. Two laps to go. Good. I think we're going to end up in about third place in this race. Rear tyre is really suffering. me wide oh rear tire on the left hand side is pretty much completely Knackered now, final lap. OK, 
can we stay in second? Or will we be demoted to third? I think it'll be the latter, but hopefully not. Need to become a roadblock now. That's what we needed to do there. That's good. I might have to let him throw on this left-hander and try and cut back at the final corner. He's gone for it anyway, he's taken the bait. Nah, hasn't worked for me. No, not quite. Third place. Now, oh, well, Marquez fifth, so he had a good recovery. Got a few DNFs down there. Both the factory KTMs. Right. That's it. We're done. We obviously won the championship. Won it by 74 points in the end there. Bang Yai becoming very strong towards the end. We won the team championship, but not the constructors. 21 points. We were behind Ducati for that. But we do end the season with a podium. I tried, but my rear tyre was knackered after about four laps, so... Yeah, not ideal, but it is what it is. Like I said, obviously we already wrapped up the title, so it doesn't matter too much. Suzuki, that's where we're going next season. Looking forward to that. Always look forward to using the Suzukis. But overall, the Honda is pretty good. There's, there's a couple of tracks where it doesn't feel great. Um, Aragon didn't feel great. Silverstone felt horrible. But um, all in all, pretty decent. Um, would have liked it to turn a little bit better. But, you know, it's got good, good speed down the straight. Uses up its rear tyre a, a bit quicker than some of the other manufacturers I've used. But, yeah. Probably my best season so far on the PS5. We'll double check our stats in a second. But yeah, we get to go and uh, collect our trophy again. So we didn't win the, the championship with the VR46 Ducati. That was an absolute pig. Uh, we won the championship with the Aprilia, although I believe, if I remember rightly, that was very, very close right towards the end of the season. KTM felt good with that bike. Um, it's probably been my favourite bike so far that I've used the KTM. Um, and then the Honda, we had uh, a, a, a pretty decent season. Can't remember exactly how many wins we've had, but we'll find out soon. But yeah. That's it. We're done for another season. We do go to Suzuki for next season, which, like I said, I am looking forward to. Should handle a bit better than the, the Honda. Probably not as quick on the straight, but not far off. Well, there we go. We get another championship wrapped up. Another championship wrapped up using a Valentino Rossi helmet as well. There we go. Job is a good one. There we go. We had quite a few wins to be fair. Start off with a, a decent fifth in Qatar. That's usually a difficult race. Then we had five wins on the bounce in Argentina, Cota, 
Portugal, Hareth, and Le Mans. Then Magello, that one's always a difficult one anyway, and it was a wet track, which was drying, but um, still top 10 there. Then back on the podium at Catalonia, a win at Satsum Ring. Ninth place at Assen, which isn't actually a bad result considering how quick the, the AI are there. Um, so top 10 there. Um, back on the podium in Finland for uh, Kimi Rank, third place, second place at Red Bull Ring. Top 10 at Silverstone, which again, decent enough result. Aragon, the bike didn't feel good, but we still managed to salvage a fourth. Then we had three more wins on the bounce at Mazzano, Mategi, and Buriram. Buriram, a very unexpected win. And then our worst results of 11th and then 18th after that crash at Sepang. And then back on the podium to finish off the uh, the season in Valencia. So that's how we got on this season with the uh, Repsol Honda. Yeah, now you give me extra staff when I don't bloody need them. <laughs> it's always the way with this game. Extra staff right at the end. Obviously, they're meant to be there if you stay in another season, but um, that is not what we're doing. We'll look at the standings for all three categories, see who was the champion in Moto3 and Moto2 as well. So just one more week to advance. There we go. So Moto3, the champion was Pedro Costa. 43 points he won by in the end. His teammate Mazia second, Darren Binder third, Antonelli fourth, and Sergio Garcia in fifth. Moto2, Sam Lowe's won that one by 25 points from Remy Gardner in second, Bezeki third, Raul Fernandez in fourth, and Fabio Di Giantoni in fifth. And obviously MotoGP, I wrapped that up a few uh, races ago uh, from Zarco in second, Bangaya third, uh, Quattaro down to fourth there. Uh, so Bangaya managed to, to move up to third. Um, and then Manfred Vinales in fifth. But that's it for another season, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video when we go to Suzuki. Don't forget to stay safe, wash hands, look after yourselves. See you guys next time. See you.